And today, temperatures a little closer to seasonal. It has been, though, a warmer winter than usual, and it's causing some businesses that rely on this cold weather mm -hmm. to adapt. For example, Sundown Mountain Resort, we're taking a live look there in Dubuque County. You see one, one lone <laughs> skier, but around them, snow. Yeah. Probably a lot of it was man-made, but still snow. Officials there say these warmer temperatures, though, are truly affecting their bottom lines. I'm here at Sundown Mountain Resort in Dubuque where the general manager tells me they're closing early due to unseasonably warm temperatures. It's been a crazy season. Everybody knows it's been a warm one and for us it's been a real fight to get open and stay open. Mark Gordon says he's never seen a winter like this in 10 years as the general manager at Sundown Mountain. He says they're closing about a week early this season because of it. He says they rely on their snowmaker every season but says warm weather has melted much of the snow they've made. You know, every time you hear the snow melting off the roof, you know you need to make more. Making this season more expensive. We have 75 acres here, and we spend a lot of money to get snow on here so you can explore every little part of it. I'd trade you electric bills this, year, this, this month. On top of that, he says ticket sales have been down, leaving them to rely on season pass members. Here, skiers and snowboarders are getting their last taste of the hill. That includes Jackson Heisner, who says this is his second time snowboarding at sundown. He's taking advantage of a discount and plans to spend the entire day here. Well, I just want to have a fun time with my friends and just chill on the slopes. It's pretty great. Gordon says they're not only adapting their business in the winter, but also in the summer, working to keep it running throughout the year with new events. Now, with global warming, we're trying to find out ways that we can be successful in the summer, too. In the meantime, Gordon says he's hoping for more snow and colder temperatures next year. In Dubuque County, Grace Vance, KCRG, TV9 News.